Welcome back to another episode of Marimashita Inuakun. And in this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale of an anime series. However, still no pants. And you know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Last episode, the last two episodes, we covered Kerori. Finally, the Dem doll has been announced. And I had a I, I had a guess from the beginning. I think it was quite obvious too, if you guys were paying attention of how Kerori was reacting to whenever we saw the news bulletin board. And no one would be that upset unless she also had her stake on the popularity ranking. And it just happens to be some with their head shape also happened to be right below, you know, Iruma's ranking the entire time. Seems like Everything was handled pretty well, you know. Um, I only wish that Amiri could have recognized that it was, you know, Irumi was Iruma and to see her reaction towards that, but uh, we didn't get that. Maybe into the future, maybe there'll be more reference to it, but probably not. It's kind of uncanny how Azaz and Irumi, they they were too natural doing that, but again, he is the son of the Milfo destruction. Uh, handled Kerudi's, like, family arc already. Like, I thought there would be more, more episodes of you know, building up Kerudi is like, you know, support circle now and like having her pursue this career that her family doesn't recognize and make them smile eventually one day. But no, they were watching from home the entire time cheering on. So it's like, oh, okay, her character arc is pretty much already done. That's fine. We got that over with. And there was that one girl, you know, the girl that was inspired, that inspired Kerudi to take up Demdol, the green haired Demdol. I'm like, is that Clara's mom? But apparently it's not if you actually judge, you know, her whatever her horns and other design going on but i like to think that it was clara's mom and then now she's retired and has a big happy family anyways let's start the finale my guess for the season finale is like a almost like a not a recap episode but like nothing important well maybe something important will happen at the end to extend to season two but more like a wholesome wrap-up episode to conclude the season to remind us of like everything that's happening in his life Again, everybody just flies to school. And why are we walking again? Because uh, we're working out our lower body. Yes. <laughs> again, yeah, strengthen our legs. But she did have oh, a demon at dawn. But uh, Clara will be down. Iruma, did she... Clara's face here is pretty funny. Iruma did grow wings during like uh, Pandarula. He actually had the like, demon wings sprout out. I was like, oh shit, that's pretty cool. Oh my god, Lash is stop it. Oh? Oh, wait, are we gonna. No, 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 no. Oh? Out of my way, lady. In the graceful way. Oh. The lashes. Doki? Show me, show me lashes. Our anniversary of exhilaration. Okay. Lashes hasn't done shit just but just be a joke character in the scenes like this. And honestly, it's fantastic. I wonder if she's gonna be like a serious character ever though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but <laughs> Wait, you may be demons, but <laughs> He's looking like cat. His signature line silence just comes out like that when it doesn't make sense, and it's still so good. All oh, right, she can turn people into toads. I just couldn't hold back. <laughs> oh. I like the whole subplot of uh of the the like the way Aiko crushes over Iru. <laughs> It could have been me! How could you do this? But just like how uh, how she crashes over uh, Halego, right? The way e Eiko crashes over Iruma. Oh. Stop, bro. And where what? The Golden Ring of Salt right hand. Like, that's all Iruma. Foreign land, Earth. <laughs> it still looks look so cool. <laughs> He's just becoming a playmaster, man. But you're not from a foreign land, are you? Eiko. One fucking season. No interaction of Eiko and Iruma ever. He's just always passing on in the background. Or Eiko passes on the back. It's like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, continuing on with the shoujo manga. I wonder like what volume we're on. Uh, maybe I didn't understand the last plot. 
correctly, but he has secrets that he couldn't tell. Okay, I, th I thought it was like another girl. <laughs> oh, look at her. Look at her ears shaking. Her rival. <laughs> so chuny. Yes. Oh, wait, wait. Ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, would he hide it? Would he hide it? Could she be his relative? She, that's the, she, can't, she can't even comprehend that it could have been Iruma, huh? Maybe they're the same person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, with Amiri being too... I mean, she's blushing super hard. Yeah. Did you happen to cross-dress and, um, you know, perform on a stage recently? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, they're the same person. I mean, the face is identical. It's just the longer hair. Like, come on. <laughs> Power of a wig, I guess. Oh. Doki! <laughs> hands touch, kind of. Wait, just because she never had touch for a second? Oh, my. you know, Iruma might have signed up for like seduction school. He's, he's like so casually winning her over without even trying. So, as expected, you know, we're just having a day-to-day -day life of Iruma just enjoying himself. No actual plot for this season finale? Hmm. I expect something to show up for, like, to lead into season two. Now, you're a natural here. I mean, you were singing the school anthem without even caring about the lyrics anymore. Is he having sudden regrets about leaving Earth? But it's so much better here. You have family that loves you, and you have so many nice friends, and everything's going so well, and we have goals to, you know, chase after? That would be sad if his memory actually got wiped and got sent back to Earth. No, 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 no help, please. We're good. We're good. A foolish dish. Okay, Master Chef. I think he's gonna say both of it tastes great. He wouldn't, he wouldn't, like, uh... Choose a side for this. <laughs> Wait, are we doing arm wrestling right now? <laughs> I used to have books stacked up because Sarah's so big. What is this? Uh, this is definitely not fried chicken anymore. A little something else. I think he's completely fine. He don't have to. What is this? What are you making? <laughs> It's the thought that goes into it. What, are we gonna get a musical? Wait, are we gonna get an actual musical? I can hear some, you know, the musical song playing. I mean, you just say love, but we're still throwing in random ingredients in. Okay, here we go. Another Clara family musical. Where is dad and the other sibling? Will they ever show up? They're conveniently hiding them for some kind of like future scenes. I wonder if they're serious characters. And they're out like training. I don't know. This really is just like a whole season recap episode where we read all the elements of Iruma kun, including like the Phallic Family uh, musical is included too. Love, huh? Hmm. I mean. Clara did say, I'll make you fall head over heels for me. But at the rate with how Amity is progressing. We already met father-in-law, but it's not to say that Iruma didn't mean Clara's mom either, right? I... Well, at least they're always just showing us musicals like this. Jesus. Jesus. Crazy fancy food. Just commonly perfect. What could you make? It's not about. Yo, Clara's just making random ass shit like this and. <laughs> and that's how it's like, no, I need to have more elite. He's actually scared of fish? Why does he have a fear for fish? So he's gonna overcome his fear of fish for Iruma. 
I kind of want them to go more into... You can't cut it. Oh my god. I wonder where his dad is. I haven't seen his dad just yet. If his dad even exists. Opera's cooking is the best. No, we can't pick a side here. They go well together? Both. Yeah, we're not gonna pick a side. If you eat them together, it's even better. Really? Wow. Clara and, uh... The <laughs> dog is getting, like, fed. But Clara and Azaz! Kind of a, a little bit of a unexpected uh, teamwork, even though they were competing against each other. You guys just like, you didn't cure his like existential crisis of I'm a human, what am I doing in the demon world? But that's, it's nice how they get along like this. Alright, post credit scene. What kind of lyrics are these? Do they <laughs> greet him for morning like this every day? Huh? Did that voice change? Huh? Who are you? Whoa, whoa, this is clearly Iruma, boy. That's not... Are you hitting puberty? Wait. That's the same... What? His eyes... What? Okay, so this is into season two going on. Okay, okay, but you... Could you imagine watching this as like a seasonal series? Uh, like like a week, like the week to week. And that's the episode. But like you, you, this shit happens, and you don't even get season two for like years. You're like, what the fuck happened? I guess it's the perfect way to go. You know, saying go read the manga, figure out what ha what's happened. But he looks like Iruma. It's clearly still Iruma, but that's not Iruma. He seems way more edgy. Completely, you know, it's like a 180 of personality. So is this? Like the effects of him being in the netherworld and now he's going through puberty and this is what's happening or is this like an actual body swap of uh, i don't know i don't know but things are getting pretty interesting for season two anyways if you stick around the song and enjoy, if you enjoy my reaction you already know what i'm gonna say check